Well, we're getting ready to make our run to Seward. The weather's supposed to be pretty good. Um, still blowing a little bit. There's probably gonna be some residual swell or whatever. Um, but we have to do the safety drills and uh, get Lee acquainted with the survival suit and the off chance it's something we have to do. And uh, so I want him to get familiar with that. He's gonna don a suit and see what that's all about um inspect the suit and there we go so um yeah that's what he's gonna have to do and we'll see how it goes well we're getting right on tie do a little bit of a safety briefing we're trying to survival suit on here and uh inspect it um get uh Lee kind of familiar with that. Hopefully uh, he'll never, ever, ever have to use one. But if he does, then it's important that he knows how it happens. So he's just getting out of his rain gear because it's all wet. We don't want to get the inside of the suit wet when he, um, yeah, when he tries it on. Yeah, go ahead. There should be a, um, a plastic bag inside of it so that if you were in a real situation, you would put the plastic bag over your boots to allow them to slip into the suit. And that way, if you ended up on a beach, um, you'd have your boots on, yeah. you know, so you wouldn't normally take them off to try it on, but because it's just a, um, a drill. Yeah. And then what we'll do is after you kind of read through it, we're going to inspect it, we'll roll it up, we'll put it back in the bag, and then you're going to um, execute a donning of a suit. Okay, so uh, let me move my jacket here. Go ahead and uh, sort of read through the instructions here. They're pretty self-explanatory. Like I was yeah. saying, um, you know, in this situation, this step, you may want to sit down and scoot into it on the deck, but you should also be able to do this part in the water if you had to, okay? okay. And that's what we have to do. I have a, um, a drill instructor card, and that's what we had to do is we had to do it in a pool. Mm. Um, so go ahead and... We'll take it out. We're going to inspect the zipper on it. We're going to um, make sure that the that the light is operable on it. And we'll go over some of the features of it. So it's got the boat name on it, which is required. So yeah, you can go ahead and lay it out right there. Okay, right here, real handy now. While you got the light, just uh, go ahead and turn it, and uh, it should. It should turn on, and, then, and it, there you go. Okay, so go ahead and just back it off a little bit. There, there you go. And um, so it's got reflection on it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, you pay attention to how it's how it's assembled here, right? Because that's very important. So you can see when it comes out of the case, it's going to roll out. The legs are going to be that way. The arms are crossed. So the other thing you want to do is just inspect it, make sure there aren't any holes. This is a new suit, um, so it's all been pressure tested and all that. Okay. Um, you want to open that up before you try to get in it. And then you're going to want to work this zipper um, up and down, and we'll put some more wax on it before we put it away when we're all done. But work the zipper up and down and make sure that it, and just, just pull steadily. Don't try to jerk it. There you go. All the way up? Yep, you want it all the way up. I mean, there's been plenty of people that did not survive because their survival suit didn't go all the way up. Okay, and then all the way back down again. There you go. So it seems like it's working pretty good. We'll add a little bit of wax to it. Okay, then just kind of roll it out, check the feet, make sure that everything's good on that. It's got a little strap to tighten around, to tighten around if you need to. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and roll it back up. We'll put it in the um, we'll put it in the case, and then we'll have you actually uh, put it on as fast as you can. Um, now, when I say as fast as you can, sometimes slower is faster, right? So you, you, the trick is you don't want to be panicking if you have to get into it. You just want to be very methodical and focus on each step of what you have to do. So let's go ahead and roll it back up, put it in the bag, and then uh, review the the um, instructions on the bag again. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna have you shake it out, and you're just gonna lay it out right here where we're standing, 
and get into it and I'm gonna I'm gonna see how long it takes you okay 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 so the bags put back together go ahead and review the instructions again you think you've kind of got it down you ready to give it a shot and I have a placard uh, upstairs and we'll, well that'll be posted up or you know we'll be able to see it so So you can read about it all day long, but it's not until you actually put it on that you get a feel for what it might be like. Now, the other reason why this is important is because if something happens, the boat's pitching and rolling. You know, it's you know you're doing this, yeah. and there's a there's a high stress situation. You know, and so it's real important that you're able to just focus, concentrate on what you need to do. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Go. Okay, you want to hold the shoulders. There you go. You can see where you can see where sitting down would be helpful. There you go. Okay, you're about 40 seconds. It's not terrible. Okay, now here's the trick. Zip it part way up before you. Um, there you go. Now go ahead and slip the other one in. So now you got the zipper started. There you go. You see how all of a sudden your hands are yeah. kind of unusable. There you go, pull that hood up. So you're gonna have to shuck that hat to get it on. Yeah. Then you wanna sit, and then typically what we do now, this is where the buddy system would come in, right? I would be in my suit, I would zip you the rest of the way up, cover you, check and make sure it's all the way down and then thumbs up you know okay and then you would do the same to me and make sure everything's good and then we assemble we don't get in the raft until we have to you don't abandon the ship unless you have to you want to always stay with the boat okay how's it feeling it's a big one you're a little skinny guy <laughs> i know I'm skinny. It feels like i yeah, and so then you just want to kind of be like a sea otter. Yeah. You know, you want to conserve as much energy as you possibly can, yeah. right? You, you've done that, you've been in a pool, you float yeah. on your back, you want to do that. And then what we would do is we would both stay locked together, arm in arm, or take turns, one like, you know, like the sea otters do, where like you're kind of like big spoon, little spoon, yeah. floating like that. Um, with legs around the hip so that you're always together. If there's a buoy and a way to tie each other off, that's even better. That way, when the rescuers come, you're, you know, they don't have to go looking a quarter mile away for somebody. Yeah. So, um, right on. Good job.